Okay, what evidence has Sir Dorian found? And Lady I Diana, please bring your so-called murderous candlestick over here too. We're going to need the light. What is it that you want to show us, Lord Grayson? Are you going to push each of us out the window one by one and see who can make it? Oh no, nothing like that, Lord Violet. I already know you can make it in and out of a window, for there is your muddy footprint upon the windowsill! Oh! What? How could you think it is mine? You're the only person here tonight wearing boots, and boots of that size. Uh, I, I mean I am wearing boots, but if you'd be so kind as to take off your boot, we could use it to measure the size of the print on the windowsill. I'm not taking my boots off, sir. I'm afraid that I simply must have one of them. Preferably the right one. But I'll take the left, if that's all you can give me. Fine. Yes, the print is mine, I admit it. But I admit it with my boots on. Aha! I knew it. So you admit that you scaled the wall outside, climbed into Helena's bedroom, and murdered her in cold blood right in her bed. I did nothing of the sort. If you'll shut your well-bred mouth long enough to let me speak, I'll explain it all to you. Hmm. Very well. Make my day. Explain away. Ha! <laughs> that rhymed a little, didn't it? Ha! Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. Uh, but never mind. Carry on. Listen, you already know that my ancestor left some sort of treasure, yeah? I've been looking for it for a while now. Once I was finished combing the grounds and found nothing at all, I got desperate, desperate. I knew the treasure had to be in the house. It was on the grounds, it was in the house. I tried a few times to make friends with the Montagues, but it was a bad time to do so, what with Lord Montague having just passed away. I was too late to ask Lord Montague, but Helena was too busy to see me most times I tried. Although she wasn't too busy to meet with her psychic gypsy friend and have her palm read, I might add. But that's besides the point. As I was saying, I got desperate. I knew that if I could get into the house and just look around a bit, I would be able to find the treasure, so I sneaked inside. I did it once. I did it twice. I did it a dozen times. It was almost too easy, even easier when the family was preoccupied with the passing of Lord Montague. Uh, may he rest in peace. I learned the habits of the family, which windows were always unlocked. Usually I'd scale the wall outside of Helena's room because the ivy on the outside of the house and the landing outside the window made it easier. Finally, today between showers, when most of the house's occupants were taking advantage of the short burst of sunshine, I sneaked into the house once again by way of Helena's room. But I swear to you, she wasn't in here. I don't believe you. You have no proof to back up your story. Proof? You want proof? I've got gobs of proof. Follow me! Should we? I don't think we have much choice. He's already gone. In that case, ladies first. Where have you taken us? This level of the house is absolutely disgusting. It's all dusty and old. Ugh. I'm sure in your charm, spoon in the mouth of life, Sir Grayson, that you've never set your eyes on an attic before. Well, of course I have. I've just never seen one so disgusting. Wash it, your highness. I... I don't know how to take that. If you're quite finished insulting the lady's housekeeping skills, then I'm sure you'll want to see what I have over here. Ooh, it's like a glowing treasure box. Is, is that the treasure? Whoa! How was that even hidden? It's huge! When I came up here, I noticed the floor creaked differently in this one spot. It seemed hollow. So I pulled up some of the floorboards and pulled out what appeared to be the specially made compartment for the chest. It didn't look like it had been touched in years, possibly decades. Inside the chest, as you can see, is my great uncle's name, so I know it is the treasure that he hid when he worked here. But when I was trying to find out how to get it out of the house, I heard footsteps downstairs. I was afraid of being discovered, so I put the treasure back where I found it and slipped back outside. 
When Lady Diana spotted me outside earlier, I was trying to figure out how to get back inside the house, and more importantly, how I was going to get that treasure out. So what do you think of that, Sir Grayson? I... I don't know what to say, but this does seem to corroborate your story. At that moment, I began to wonder, should I mention that bead I found on the floor in Helena's room? I was starting to get worried. It looked like it might be bad for me if I told them I found something earlier but didn't tell them. They might think I was hiding evidence, or that I had sinister reasons for going back to the scene of the crime alone, like tampering with evidence. I was about to speak up and say something when Charlotta interrupted my thoughts. I, I believe I have something that will break your speechlessness, Sir Grayson. I took the uh, liberty of examining Elena's pockets a few minutes ago and... You touched the body? Well, exactly. I simply saw something white sticking out of the top of one of her jacket pockets, so I pulled it out. What was it? It appears to be a love letter. Ooh, I love love letters. <laughs> I think Bess uh, says that line in Nancy Drew's Secret of Shadow Ranch. You got love letters. I love love letters. They're so amazing. Who's it from? Well, let's see. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Then how do you know it's a love letter? Hmm. Dear Helena, mummers think of you every morning and dream of you every evening. I can't wait to see you again and hold you in my arms with all my love, Grayson. Wow. You're in love with Helena? <laughs> you saucy thing, you. And you didn't even tell us. Well, it kind of intimated that he, he was, um, you know, on very familiar terms with the victim. Ugh. This day could not get any worse. First, I'm humiliated over my family's loss of fortune, and now you know about this, too. I can understand being ashamed of your family's fall from grace, but why hide a relationship with the woman you love? It was all Helena's idea. She knew of my family's... Uh, financial issues, and while it didn't bother her in the slightest, she knew her father would not approve. You see, Lord Montague wanted his only child to marry for wealth, well, as well as a title. And well, at the moment, I've only got one of those. So she wanted to keep our relationship a secret until I was back on my feet again and could prove to her father that I was worthy of his daughter's love. Hmm, but why keep it a secret from the rest of us? I'm sorry, lady I only met a few hours ago. How silly of me not to tell a room full of strangers about my love life. Oh my, so much sass. I must say, Sir Grayson, you are quickly becoming my favorite here tonight. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should be flattered. As much as I hate to interrupt this love fest, I feel like it is strange that no one, especially myself, heard about this love affair. What are you so upset about? That your employer was more mysterious than you thought? A woman to marry s uh, many secrets? Not married secrets. <laughs> it would be weird if we had a secret marriage, huh? Yeah, uh, or that my love for Helena makes me less of a suspect. I'll know about that. Surely this letter proves to you once and for all that I had never heard Helena. I wanted to ask for her hand in marriage. To spend the rest of my life with her. I, I just can't believe that she's gone. Excuse me for a moment. I'm gonna go cry in my pillow. Hmm, I don't know. He does seem pretty choked up about this. Yes, but still. It's not all is not as it seems. Of this, I am sure. At this point, I knew I had to say something about what I found in Helena's bedroom during my first search. But what do I say? The bead looked incredibly familiar, but where had I seen it before? Had I seen it on or in the possession of... Oh my gosh, this looks like an ending. Let's save the game. We're saving the game here. Because this looks like... Oh man, I can accuse one of these characters. So who is the murderer? Obviously not me. Who is the murderer? Is it Dorian, Esme, Violet, or Charlotta? I'm going to take a moment to think about it, and in the next video, I'll figure out who I'm going to accuse.